Karen Chan from Pathways Training and eLearning, and today I'm going to demonstrate the photo editing features of Articulate Storyline 360. You may have already seen our blog on the subject, and I'm here to show you how to edit photos into beautiful, usable slide backgrounds that align with your client's brand colors. First, select a photo. There is a great selection of stock photography from the Storyline Content Library 360, so start looking there. Enter a search term for something relevant to your content. As a slide background, ideally you want something that isn't too busy or distracting from the content you're going to place on top of it. Pick an image that doesn't have too many elements or look for images that are blurred out. Depending on your subject, that might not be an option. This is where photo manipulation comes in. Note the picture tools toolbar that becomes available when your photo is selected. You can edit brightness, contrast, and recolor, which changes your photo to variations of monochrome. Best of all, the colors available in the dark and light variations correspond with the color theme your template uses, so if you've already set up your template with your client's brand colors, those will be available here. If you scroll down to the more variations at the bottom of this dropdown, you'll be given your color theme palette again. If you select one of these, that color will be overlaid on your image, instead of being a monochrome variant. So keep that in mind if you want to remove all the other colors from your photo or not. The option to set transparent color is for isolating elements that have a solid background, and you won't need that here, but note it's there if you need it in the future. You can use any or all of these elements together to get the right combination of brightness, contrast, and tint. Check your text and content against it to make sure everything reads well, and you're good to go. If this video was helpful to you, you can help us out by hitting the like and subscribe buttons, and if you want to know when our next video drops, hit the notification bell. You can also follow us on our social media from the links in the description. We have a blog with tons of great tips on how to get the most out of your e-learning authoring tools, so check that out. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.